Shimak on Sabon Lai Road in the heart of Gombe Metropolis. It is unusually quiet, but even on a day Christians are celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ. But then, there are obvious signs that all is not well around here. Blood stains, broken planks, all showing that there had been an unrest. Right here at the hospital, the story is better told. Sad faces, a cluster of mourners, and women hoping for good news from the doctors. We were just going. We occupied one lane due to our number. There was no way other vehicles could pass, so they were using the other lane. So this man, two of them came in uh, Honda Civic, it was golden color. So as they came, they refused to follow the other lane as other people were doing. So they came towards the place we were, and they were coming in full speed. So we had to stop him. That was the first time. So after doing so, we didn't know that he went and followed the U-turn and came back. Uh, towards our back when we were coming towards the town. The state's deputy governor is also one of the early callers at the hospital. He is obviously saddened by the incident. I want to assure you that this is a time for us to keep calm, give ourselves a little time so that we think about it and do something about it. My assurance is simple. As a Christian also, something is going to be done about this big thing that happened in Gombe State. The men are gathered here to sympathize with the families of those affected, and they hope the deputy governor stands by his words of assurance that the matter will not go uninvestigated, as they pray never again to experience such a sad occurrence in Gumbi.